Many are predicting that the worst is yet to come, which is unfortunate, said one person here. Until now, they've enjoyed the reputation of being the nation's icebox. Watched a burglar in his home this morning by webcam. As a journalist of over 25 years, stories are what make my world turn. Reporting live from the Dallas Newsroom tonight, Jeff Crilly, Fox 4 News. But in 2008, I took the jump from my familiar life and started a PR firm from my home. We're talking about anyone with a camcorder like the one I'm using becomes a television network. We started slowly growing the company and we now have over a hundred clients and we've branched into the world of live digital broadcasting. I now own eight different TV studios and have a huge team and the stories that I now get to share are sometimes the most important of my life. Life has a funny way of coming around full circle. This is The Jeff Crilly Show. about the importance of great dental health and as you know during a recession people will sometimes put off going to the doctor's office and they will put off going to the dentist's office and, and that can lead to problems down the road that can be very very expensive to talk about that Dr. Melissa Santilli and Dr. Selma Hanif with Honey Dental welcome to the show thank you so much for having us <laughs> well uh, uh, Dr. Santilli we've known each other for a number of years now and I know you are a holistic dentist and that's different than a, a typical dentist T tell me more about that. Okay, so um, I was pregnant during dental school and I had a baby and I really didn't want to expose myself to mercury. So when I got out of dental school, I set up my practice so that I protect the patient and myself from mercury if we had to drill on an old mercury filling that's, you know, the silver kind of fillings that people have, usually it cracks teeth and breaks teeth and we have to work with that. And so we don't want to expose the patients or ourselves to it. So we wrap the patient from head to toe and we kind of dressed like COVID five years prior to COVID, you know, just to protect everyone in the room from mercury. You know, I know uh, from just reading a lot that often dentists will pick up on other health issues based on what's happening in the, in the patient's mouth. Um, Dr. Hanif, let's bring you in on this. Uh, so like pl uh, plaque buildup in the mouth can actually be a sign of, of, of a heart issue, can't it? Um, so not exactly a sign, but issues in your mouth can definitely lead to other systemic problems in your body for sure. Um, kind of going off of what Dr. Melissa was talking about, that mercury is toxic to your body in ways that a lot of the general public doesn't understand. And it's not public knowledge, so it's kind of a different way of practicing dentistry that's becoming a little bit more mainstream, but very important for us. Yes, mm -hmm. and if people are putting off uh, dental care during a recession, that can end up causing some real problems down the road, can't it? Yeah, because just because everything is shut down, a lot of people have limited access to dental care. So that means if there's active disease on the tooth, now it can lead to an abscess. And they show up in the ER with a swollen face or they have so much pain, it's unbearable, and they just can't function. Uh, if it's some kind of gum disease and it's neglected, then they're going to lose more support for their teeth and the teeth will start to get even looser. And we don't want people to lose their teeth, so it's really important to educate the public that even though things are closed down, it's still important to get back to the dentist as soon as you can just because you still want to take care of yourself before it gets to that point and you really don't want to end up in the ER right now. There's just a lot. I mean, they're overwhelmed as it is, you know. Yes. Well, one so. of the things I love about you, uh, Dr. Melissa, is that you're passionate about patient education and an educated patient is, is a healthy patient. In fact, uh, you launched a podcast. Uh, thank you very much for that. Uh, we're going to roll a little bit of video of your podcast. Um, tell us why you decided to do the podcast. Um, I just wanted to be able to reach people in a in a modern way because I think a lot of people are more interested in reaching out and finding information in unique ways and podcasting is something that self-educators are very passionate about and I want to have information out there that if people are curious about mercury fillings if they're curious about you know mothers trying to nurse babies with uh, tongue ties and things like that I want to be able to talk about it and share that information with patients. Yes, and uh, often you would bring in your your team to interview them, and you've got a very attractive staff, I've got to tell you. You look <laughs> like you all came out of an Amber Crombie catalog. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, Dr. Hanif, oh, t tell us why you decided to join Honey Dental. So Honey Dental provides something that I don't think you can really find at a lot of other offices. 
Um, one thing is I feel like there's such a big emphasis on quantity, which is something that is a terrible trend in our society. We're just trying to drill and fill, pump and dump, get as many as we can going. So one thing about Honey Dental that I found to be unique is that she really focuses on quality. Doesn't matter how long it takes specifically, but you want to get the job done as best as possible. So that's one thing that I found to be really unique about Honey Dental. Yes, and I know the media has picked up on it. You've appeared from coast to coast on, on radio and television, and, and there was a piece that was done, I want to say, two years ago on NBC5. It was a great piece. Let's go ahead and roll that now. Your holiday stress may be leading to what could be an expensive dental problem. Yeah, dentists say that more patients come in this time of year with signs of teeth grinding, and it's directly related to increased stress during the holiday. Even though police officer Chad Barfnett has a stressful job, he deals with holiday stress just like everyone else. Our call load's a lot different around Christmas time, so it does get more stressful for us. He didn't think much of it until he visited Dr. Melissa Santelli. We were constantly having to replace crowns, fillings, doing different work. It turns out he was grinding his teeth at night so frequently they started to break. I wasn't aware that I was. I obviously have a stressful job, but don't feel that I'm stressed. During the holidays, I noticed that patients are complaining more and more of uh, joint pain around their jaw joint as well as just sleeping issues. Dr. Santelli says the other signs you're grinding your teeth are heat and cold sensitivity, headaches, a stiff neck, and feeling tired from a bad night's sleep. The problem can be temporary because of stressful times like the holidays, or it can be chronic. Dr. Santelli says a few fills can fix cracked or chipped teeth. But if they wait until the teeth are becoming shorter and shorter, where only a third or half of the tooth is still there, then they might be considering porcelain replacement. It's an expensive fix, but was the best option for Barfnecht, who can now smile with confidence. To have the security and, and safety to, to know that it's something that, from what she's told me, should last 20 to 30 years. As he looks for ways I read quite a bit to keep the stress and grinding at bay. And Dr. Santilli says grinding can be a sign of a bigger medical problem or a side effect of medication. You should talk with your doctor to see if that's the case. And that was two years ago. We were talking about holiday stress. You talk about stress. I mean, mm -hmm. we've got a pandemic. People yeah. are worried about their health. They're worried about the economy. Are we seeing more teeth grinding these days? Um, I'm seeing kind of just putting out fires. There's people with broken teeth in pain, they've been kind of putting it off and now they're coming in just kind of addressing that one tooth that's really bothering them for the past couple months when they had no care. Um, the other thing is, you know, frontline workers, I'm noticing that they're starting to neglect themselves a little bit because they work so hard to take care of other people. They're sacrificing their long hours. They got, you know, the indentation from the masks and they're just exhausted and they're not able to take care of themselves right now. So, you know, we're doing something that we want to give back to the community and give back to these active duty frontline workers such as EMTs, uh, doctors, nurses, police officers, because they're out there every day trying to protect the community and they're putting themselves at risk every day. And so we want to offer something to them to make sure that, you know, they're also taken care of. Absolutely. So if they if they are in need and they want to come to you, they can go to your website and, and get in touch and make an appointment? Yes. So my website is honeydonal.com. We're doing a lot of things for them that's specific, unique to them so that they can get the care they need and um, at no cost to them. I think that's a wonderful way to end this show. Thank you both for coming on the show. We're going to put the website up so everybody can get in touch. Honeydental.com is the website. Thank you both. This was Thank wonderful. You. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much. You bet. <laughs> and that's it for now. We'll see you next time.